Abby, how are you doing today? I'm sure you're doing great. Uh, it's great to have you on the show. Now, a lot of traders are saying we shouldn't worry at all about what's happening in our markets, that it's a combination of profit-taking, profit, profit -taking, provision uh, taking. What is your take? Certainly, we have nothing to worry about about the market. Our market is now a real market where you have buyers, you have sellers. We see people taking profit from some of the positions they had earlier in the food and beverages and building material sectors and moving to take position in the banking sector. Today, we saw most of the banks gained, maybe not huge, but they gained and the banks topped the volume movers list, the top 10 volume movers today, nine of those were banks. Mm, mm. Well, Abby, I mean, I have to ask, I mean, we have news, huge news coming out of the banking sector that we're seeing our interbank uh, uh, rates going up to 37%. That we know there are going to be a lot of losers, and of course, there are also going to be a lot of winners uh, for those who are quite liquid banks. So I am curious to know, do you feel this is the reason that we're seeing the banking sector performing quite well? I know analysts say we saw huge uh, volumes in the banking sector today. It might not be unrelated because investors see a lot of value coming from the banks. The regulator, the CBN, has actually a very firm hold on the banks and the corporate governance and their operational modalities are getting more efficient. And so investors see that taking position in the banking sector now does hold quite some value for them. And you see them moving from other stocks and moving into the banking sector. You see huge volumes coming. Union Bank today traded and there was no supply at the, by the time trading was closing. It actually ended the day at the maximum possible today, 4 Naira, 77 Kobo. Mm. GT, First Bank, all of them gained. Mm. Well, Abby, let's talk about Union Bank specifically. I mean, we saw that bank uh, closing the day with some unsatisfied bids. Uh, what is your take on why investors suddenly are warming up to that stock? Union Bank does have a lot to offer from the point of view of investors. I had said this before, Union Bank has investor loyalty. In the days of the big banks, Union Bank was there with First Bank and UBA. And for the price it is at now, investors think and they know that there's value there. Secondly, certainly by the end of this year, the transition would have ended and investors look forward to a normal management taking over the bank and running it the way investors want. So people are queued up looking for Union Bank stocks as I speak. Mm. Well, Abby, let's turn our attention to the insurance sector. We actually talked about it this morning. Of course, our analyst said that the insurance sector hasn't been an investor favorite. Uh, how is it performing now, especially after we saw AICO, who released results today on the markets, uh, which were actually quite good. We saw profits up about 10%. Uh, how are investors sort of playing that sector now with good results, uh, uh, like what we saw coming out of AICO? Yeah, ICO posted so, uh, a result about 10% improvement on half year 2011. Investors are looking out for performance from the insurance sector. It's still not anything close to the expectations, but for ICO, investors are happy with ICO, though the response has not been um, so visible because of the banking attraction. But a lot of the investors who staked their funds in the insurance sector are still waiting for opportunity to be able to get out. Most of the stocks are still trading at par, but ICO at least is showing some signs that maybe they see silver lining at the end of the tunnel. We hope all the other insurance firms will follow suit. Mm. Now let's talk also about the building material sector, another sector which uh, didn't perform so well yesterday and of course during the course of this week so far. Uh, but we've seen Portland Paints coming out with the results, looking good. We're also seeing Burger Paints uh, uh, topping the gainers list. Uh, what is your outlook for stock, stocks in this sector and specifically these two uh, uh, stocks, uh, Portland Paints and Burger Paints? Yeah, P Portland Paints actually posted... Um some good profit too, about 25% improvement of on half year 2011. Generally, as a sector, the building material sector has delivered. A couple of months ago, down to some weeks, it did appreciate considerably, and there's a lot of profit taking there now. 
We saw Dang Sem, Dangote Cement, topping the losers list, losing 4 Naira 50 Kobo to close at 114 Naira. And Ashaka Cement, Wapco were all on the losers list. Those stocks have actually delivered some value to investors in recent times. And so we think they'll come back. For now, banking sector has stolen the show. Yeah, banking sector certainly has stolen the show. But, Epi, I mean, what are some of your stock picks uh, besides the banking sector? Uh, we, I know Dangote Cement is usually a favorite, but we're seeing that stock actually dragging the index down today. So what are some of your favorites? Um, Dang, Dang Sam is still one of them because, you see, at 114 Naira, I can tell you people are already looking. Investors are already looking at Dang Sam again. It leans down slightly. You see investors rushing in there. The, even the beef, uh, food and beverages, Unilever, PZ, and other consumable goods uh, um, symbols, after leaning down slightly beyond this, below the points they are now, you see investors coming right in. The market is actually the way a market should be right now. Mm. And somebody did mention the agro allied stocks are also another favorite that seems to be another investor favorite that seems to be coming up. What's your take on the agro agro allied stocks? Stocks such as Acoma Oil, Presco and Oil, Presco. Li yeah. Livestock yeah. Feeds. Yeah. Yes, all those are also upbeats. Okomo Oil, Presco are also doing good. Presco was on the um, gainers list today. And at the current price, Presco still is an investor's toast. Mm. Now, Abby, what is your outlook for the market, of course, during the course of the remaining of the week? Uh, do you see us seeing the market down, uh, though you do say it, it continues to rally, and of course, analysts say they're not worried at all, uh, but do you see us continuing uh, to see the market sort of south, heading south? Uh, with the way uh, trading closed today, I don't think investors are done yet taking position in the banking sector. We still see a trend that is likely to continue, a shift to um, position taken in the banking sector, and still some more shedding from the building materials and food and beverages subsectors. So maybe you could still see some slight southwards movement, but it is nothing to worry about because incidentally, the food and beverages and building materials companies are heavy counters, highly capitalized. And so when they lose a little percentage in absolute amounts, a lot is lost. But as a balance on a balance, the market is still not disadvantaged. Right, Abby. Okay, well, thank you so much, Abby, uh, for joining us.